Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, the first 6 nanometer GPU gets pictured, Ryzen APUs get a huge free performance boost. This will change CPUs forever. Intel's Battlemage GPU will challenge Nvidia's RTX 4090, and their ARC GPU's pricing is amazing? Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we have the first look at the first ever 6 nanometer GPU. If you remember in my last video, I discussed the fact that AMD's upcoming RX 6500 XT and 6400 are set to be the first GPUs based on the 6 nanometer process. Well, those are based on the Navi24 GPU, and thanks to video cards, we have it right here. And we can actually see it compared to the rest of the RDNA2 family of GPUs. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the other GPUs at an estimated die size of 141mm squared. Not only that, but it has half the GPU clusters as Navi 23, so 16, which means it gets up to 1,024 cores. Of course, that's how many cores the 6500 XT was leaked to get, so it makes sense. The Infinity Cache comes in at half as well at 16 megabytes, and unfortunately, there's only 4 gigabytes of GDDR6, which once again, I really think is a huge misstep. I mean, even the RX 480 had an 8 gigabyte option. And sure, it was GDDR5, but still, that was released all the way back in 2016. Of course, given the GPU is so small, there's a chance AMD can make a ton more. Time, as always, will tell. But first, stop playing all these boring mobile games with no substance. Instead, check out a great strategy game that's got it all with today's sponsor, Lords Mobile. From building your own kingdom to resource management, powerful heroes, and even teaming up with pals from all over the world. To top it off, Lords Mobile was recently updated to let you go on adventures on their new 3D map. Whether holding off rallies of dark legions or going on amazing quests. Plus, there's a ton of rewards waiting for you as you complete quests. My favorite mode is probably their tower defense game because it lets me hop in for a quick match. Whether waiting in a queue, the subway, a bathroom, or you just feel like gaming, you can enjoy smashing massive armies with a simple tap. And today, I've teamed up with Lords Mobile to do a huge giveaway. Everyone who downloads the game using my link in the description will get a $350 gift pack for free and a chance to win a $500 prize. So forge your alliance with other players and join the battlefield with Lords Mobile today. Next up for today, AMD's Ryzen APUs just got a huge performance boost for free. In a new post by 4Onyx, they went through and tested the recent Linux 5.16 kernel. And what they found is that AMD's APUs are seeing a really nice uplift in performance. In fact, it got a performance boost as high as 28% over the previous kernel using a Ryzen 7 Pro 5850U. He also tried a notebook with a Ryzen 5 5500U and saw a jump in performance there as well. Now, they didn't notice much of any improvements with Ryzen systems using discrete GPUs. So it seems to be a performance uplift specifically for AMD's Vega iGPUs. What's wild is that AMD didn't announce any kind of optimization for Vega or their iGPUs in general, yet here we are. Free performance. Next up, there's a really interesting story from Tom's Hardware that could completely change the CPU market forever. The story originally comes from a team of researchers at the Vienna University of Technology, and what they've done is fundamentally change the core element of all hardware, the transistor. Basically, with the help of germanium, they added a new control electrode beyond the typical gate, which allows them to dynamically change the function of the transistor. Now, that may not sound like much, but according to them, this allows the CPU to get the same performance with up to a whopping 85% less transistors. Remember that a node shrink is really important because it means you can cram more transistors onto a die. This is huge because it would mean you can get a really big performance boost while maintaining the same size node. And with fewer transistors, there would be less power consumption and heat, and therefore more room for higher clocks. As an example, Professor Walter Weber stated, quote, Arithmetic operations, which previously required 160 transistors, are possible with 24 transistors due to this increased adaptability. In this way, the speed and energy efficiency of the circuit can also be significantly increased. That's a massive deal if you ask me, and it has a giant potential to completely change the industry forever. 
And lastly for today, I've got huge news on Intel's upcoming ARC GPUs, and great news for anyone hoping to buy one of their Alchemist cards. In a recent interview with Raja Kaduri, Intel's head of graphics discusses a few things about their ARC GPUs. For one, he actually claimed to be running the stream on an ARC GPU, which I think is a really good sign for how well their discrete cards are coming. Second, he confirmed that they're working on multiple generations at once, and that lends credence to recent leaks like this new one from Moore's Law is Dead claiming that their second generation battle mage is aiming to pounce on the top spot by competing with the best of Nvidia's next gen, meaning their RTX 4090 or whatever they end up calling the Lovelace GPUs. But it doesn't stop there. The next thing Raja Kaduri mentions is the fact that their goal is to increase the install base, meaning right now they have a 0% market share when it comes to discrete GPUs. And things like developer optimization is important for a gaming GPU, but you only really get that by having a big user base. And he almost suggests that they're not focused on making money all that much, at least for right now. Not only that, but in a recent video from Red Gaming Tech, He's been hearing that Intel's Alchemist GPUs are going to be priced really well. He even heard that they might sell the GPUs at a loss, or at least break even, meaning Intel's upcoming cards could potentially sell for an amazing price. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. I mean, Raja Kaduri is right. They need to grow their user base before worrying about a profit. And luckily, Intel has the funds to do it. Of course, the real question is what the pricing will be if they sell out. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Intel's upcoming GPUs? Or are you just excited about that new tech that could completely change CPUs forever? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.